dead branch in a tree. That's uh, well, some other species, maybe an elm or something, is the dead branch hanging hung up in this uh, in this uh, sycamore tree. And you know, there's another sycamore over there. That's the closest tree of any size to this one. And then uh, whatever that is way over there. Those are the closest trees to this tree. Now, a lot of people would try to tell you that this is some kind of thing stuck up there by somebody. And it could be. It could be humans, though. Now, why anyone would do that, I don't know. Also, some fishing line hung up in this tree. Now, I'm going to go with my first guess on this is probably, probably flooding. Don't know how high the water gets down here, but it gets pretty high. So, you know, there's, I just see no reason for people to jump to these conclusions. Well, this big branch is up in a tree. Couldn't possibly flood this high. Well, do you know for sure? Or people couldn't have possibly done this. Why would anyone do that? I don't know. Sometimes people do weird shit, though. I kind of doubt that's people. I, th I think that's most likely put up there by flooding. <clears throat> There's plenty of people down here to do all this weird stuff. See, somebody around here likes to do these little rock stacks. I didn't do any of this. Somebody somebody else did all this, so. The whole thing rocks. hasn't gone down a whole lot more just a little bit I think oh go this way I'm gonna disturb these here birds most of them are gone we'll see if that one sticks around for us to pass nope Nope. So I know Mr. Duffy 81 is just dying to find out what the response were to the glyphs down here. Well, let's see. I've already seen, but I'm not down here every day, but the other day when I was down here, there was a, uh, a group of about six, I think, that were over here. So, you know, any of them could done it, or there could be anybody here on the days I'm gone have done this.
So we shall see. Both, both glyphs are gone. They left one finger, one finger. This one over here, I didn't notice until, I mean, I didn't notice when I was running the camera, but I saw it later. I think what somebody was making here was a butterfly. It's been messed up a little bit, but you tell me, but, uh, <laughs> Or is that just Perry Doily? Anyway, they, these are somebody completely moved them over here. Some kind of, some kind of, so angry, angry. Does it feel angry? Does it feel angry to you? <laughs> Should we read into it that much? Somebody moved these rocks I had stacked up in this tree too. Or most of them they took out of there. Oh couple laying around but and a bunch of these these types of these types of rocks are over there by the parking too somebody put a bunch of them over there a lot more than what were in the glyphs so <clears throat> you know somebody just playing around probably they probably had no idea I don't guess they saw that rock I had sitting up there. I guess they didn't. I don't know. So. I'm done playing. You know. Apparently, apparently somebody else don't want to play or is just going to, you know, destroy things when they find it or, or whatever. But uh, kind of pointless thing to do since people are just taking stuff apart. At least they ain't been messing with... with you know tearing that apart the table thing or a ledge or whatever you want to call that stupid thing i piled up right there it did stack up a little bit better of a fire pit for some reason <clears throat> maybe they don't know like the ranger if the ranger sees them the ranger will come over here and tell them to put it out I hauled some of them rocks up there, I had them piled up there, but a lot of those rocks were hauled up by somebody's dog. There was a couple here and they had this dog, big headed, some kind of a, I don't know if it's a pit bull or what. Nice dog, but he'll follow them out there in the water and they'll reach down the water and get a rock and give it to him and he'll bring them up here. I've been fiddling with that little by little. Try to stabilize around these, this tree a little bit. I'm not sure, I think it's been, I think it's leaned a little bit more since I first started coming down here. And it could be because they're, you know, there's kind of like, there's not really soil here. There's this gravel and sand. And then you can see over here, you know, it's down the bedrock. You know, there's loose rock on top, but not much. A lot of that's outcropping of, of bedrock right there. So there, there really isn't much along the line of soil here. Um, 
So it would really be ideal for someone to come in, kind of fill this in and put some riprap across that way, across the block the water, kind of like they did over there. Now you can't see it, but I think they were just trying to, it's over in the weeds there. I think they were just really trying to protect the road from washing out like it is to, at that close spot right there. <clears throat> but anyway, I don't want the tree to go down. It's hard to find good shade along these shorelines that you can park under that's right next to the water like this. I got real used to being able to pull like even closer than this to the like I could pull right into the water on the Illinois River at this spot I used to go to all the time. One semester I pretty much was there all the time. I kind of checked out for a semester. I still went to one class but um, that was a geology course. I, and I actually really like geology. can't remember which one it was. But other than that, I just kind of took a break that semester. And I could be found at the river. And yes, I think at the time I did have a van. <laughs> um, I mean, I had my apartment on campus, but as long as the weather was warm, I was down in the water. Anyway, thanks for watching. See y'all next time.